And so our next presenter, presenter sorry, is Dr. Jennifer Rowland from Michael Smith Laboratories, and she's going to talk about remote control bacteria modified epigenetics to take over your cells. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, thanks for coming out. Um, so bacterial pathogens, both extracellular and intracellular, do a variety of things to take over your cells, to modify their environment, to promote their own infection. Um, so they do this in a variety of ways, but one way that well, bacteria um, do this is by altering how the host regulates itself. And the bacteria actively work to turn host genes on or off. And one way that they can do this is by secreting proteins into the host. This purple lightning bolt is a bacterial protein. Um, and interrupting signaling cascades in the host, uh, which would then disrupt the gene regulation downstream. Another way that some bacterial pathogens do this is by secreting proteins that end up directly in the host nucleus and can act uh, on the DNA directly to alter the, which genes are on and which genes are off. So part of what the host does to turn genes on or off is uses a variety of alterations on the host chromosome, including proteins called histones and a chemical modification directly on DNA called DNA methylation. So by modifying the histone and the methylation pattern, the host turns its own genes on and off, and the bacteria can co-opt this process and make different modifications on the histone or in the methylation pattern and turn these things off. So by changing the chemical signals on the histone, a gene comes on, or by changing different signals on the histone, the gene comes off. An increase in methylation is associated with turning genes off, and a decrease in methylation is associated with turning genes on. So I'm interested in the intracellular pathogen Salmonella typhimurium, which you might know because it gives you food poisoning if you're really unlucky. Um, and so I think that uh, one of the ways that Salmonella will take over its host cells is by altering the DNA methylation pattern on the host chromosome. So the way that I plan to study this is by infecting uh, human cells with Salmonella, um, extracting the DNA, and then looking at global changes in the methylation profile using some DNA sequencing and some magic with some chemistry. Uh, and by Understanding which genes get turned on and off under salmonella infection will better understand this globally important pathogen. And I'm fast. <laughs>